Now to demonstrate for you how LogMeIn works, um, on the left you see the website so I am going to log in here and I'm going to put the, my password in here and I'm going to log in. On the right you're looking at the computer that we were doing so I'm going to go ahead and go here and cancel here, okay here we go. It's going to log in now and when you log in it shows you the computers you have currently. So I'm going to click on this computer right now and it's going to show me uh, a login information to put a username and password. Now you'll see in a second how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and put my username here and my password. And I'm going to log in. You're going to see uh, this options right here. Okay, and you have preferences and all the things you could do here. But in this case, I'm going to press this little tab here so I can see more of the screen. And I'm going to click on remote control. Click OK. The first time you do this, it might ask you to install a file. Just install it and you'll be good to go. Um, and it's not a problem. You install it automatically, it will then let you log in. As you can see here now, you can close this out. But as you can see here on the left, I have the uh, browser connection and on the right you see the computer being uh, controlled so whenever I go on the left here on the right you see me make the changes so basically you can manage the computer completely uh, you can open up your files you could do pretty much anything you need from here so it basically works really really good um, it's definitely a, a nice way to manage your computer because from wherever you are you can actually do all this stuff and uh, if you need to open the internet you also can uh, if you use this from the iPhone, you'll also be able to open up Flash and do that as well. And I'll show you in a second also this connection on the uh, iPhone. But uh, definitely see you have internet here and you can actually view it. And on the right, as you can see, all the stuff shows up. So it's definitely really good. Let me show you in a second the iPhone so you can see how that works. Okay, so here um, to my left I have the iPhone and to my right I have the, um, the com Windows computer. Now I'm going to show you in a second how I log into that. Uh, on the iPhone, if you look on the right hand side there, I have the login icon. I'm going to press on that, open it, and log me in ignition will pop up. Once the software comes up, it's going to ask me for a username and password, actually an email and a password. So I'm going to put my email address here. Uh, almost done here let me show you in a second and my password okay so I'm ready to go and I click on log me in you can put it to remember your login if you use this all the time but I recommend if you do that uh, make sure your iPhone you put it so it erases all the data if uh, if it's you know if for example I would put a password on it and then put it so that when it locks itself if someone tries to access it more than 10 times with the wrong password it erases itself now um, back to the uh, tutorial here it shows you the computer I have currently so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that computer to connect and it's gonna ask me for a username and password the same as as I had on the machine before so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Put my, my username here and my password below. Okay, and uh, you're gonna see where it says domain. You know the domain that you can leave it blank, you don't need to worry about that. And you can put to remember the login for the next time if you ever want if you're using this. So in this case, I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna click login. And in a second, you will see how it looks. I'm now connected. If you look on the right hand side, the wallpaper disappeared. And uh, you might get this message once in a while. It says the device is running out of free memory. You know, to be honest with you, I just ignore that message and I continue about what I'm doing. So, um, but you do get that message. I've seen it uh, quite a few times. It all depends on the resolution of the screen that, uh, that I'm using. But right now, for example, I'm connected and uh, you can't see it there on the screen. Let me see if you could uh, actually, let me turn it around here. Okay, you won't be able to see it there, but um, it's right now. I, I know it looks sideways here, so you can't really see the um, the screen. But I'm gonna just, I'm gonna move it around just to show you in a second, and uh, you have an idea. And um, for example, I put the mouse there, and I can open up on the right hand side the documents. Uh, if I want to close it, I can definitely do the same thing. I can come here, 
and then close it out. Okay, if I uh, if I move the uh, the cursor around, let me see one second real quick here. Let me turn this over here. Yep. Um, if I have to actually do it sideways here to show you, but um, like I said, if you go to anywhere on the screen, how you do it is you move the screen and then you tap on it and it opens up. You see the menu. So basically, this is like real time, and um, I can actually, you know, access the internet, for example, right from here, and uh, the Internet Explorer opens up and I can actually uh, see a website so it's really neat it's almost real time that you're seeing this and uh, it works very well uh, like I said um, the phone here on the screen as you can see it you're seeing this sideways but as I'm viewing it it's I just turn the phone sideways and I can see full screen you can zoom in to an area which is really good just by pinching in and out just like you normally do on the iPhone and it has a little buttons at the bottom that you, if you look at the X and the keyboard you can actually press there for example and you get a keyboard on there you can click hide and it'll hide it okay let me turn it around it's gonna turn black a second here but uh, just to show you the buttons but um, so basically you can click here for example to do right and, and left button mouse and this is the, the zoom in button it's right in the middle and uh, basically um, the options that you have on this it gives you some options that you could do and you can actually uh, change the resolution on the screen and basically the type of uh, colors it's going to use a color quality and also then when you disconnect just click here and you're logged on you're logged off and on the right hand side you will see that the wallpaper will come back once it disconnects and there you go so it's really easy to use like I said, I recommend it. I hope this tutorial explains it. I know it's a little bit at uh, the end there where I'm showing you the iPhone. It's a little bit uh, messed up because it's sideways. But uh, but you get the idea and uh, and I hope you enjoy it. It's really, really good. It's $29.99 and once you try it, you're going to realize that those are the best $30 you spent uh, because it's really, really good. I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate it. Remember to visit aramistech.com for all the detailed information regarding Log Me In uh, free, the uh, App Store link and basically any details that I have that I'm missing here in the video will be there on the site okay thank you and I appreciate you watching my videos